Washington President of the United States Joe Biden promised to help the Zionist Israeli military replenish or supplement the Iron Dome missile defense system. The promise was a form of America's full support after 11 days of Zionist fighting with the Palestinian resistance groups in Gaza. Israeli Ionists and Palestinian resistance groups in Gaza Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad confirmed the ceasefire agreement which began on Friday, 21 5, 2021, at 2 a.m. local time. Echoing Washington's support for Israel's right to defend itself from indiscriminate rocket attack in a national short speech on Thursday evening, Biden said, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also shares with me his appreciation for the Iron Dome system, which our country has developed together and which has saved the lives of countless Israelis, both Arab and Jewish. I reassured him of my full support for replenishing Israel's Iron Dome system to ensure its defense and security in the future, Biden said, as quoted by Russia Today. Entering service in 2011, Israel's Iron Dome uses a radar tracking system to locate incoming rockets, firing its own interceptor missiles to shoot down projectiles in the air. According to Air Force magazine, each Tamar interceptor missile is estimated to cost between $20,000 and $100,000, although the Israeli government has not disclosed an official figure. This system was seen in action time and again during the latest turmoil, with the Israeli Defense Forces IDF, claiming a successful interception rate of around 90%. President Biden also noted that Israel and Hamas had agreed to a ceasefire, which took effect within hours of his speech. Mediated by Egypt, the deal was reached after 11 days of fierce fighting in the blockaded Palestinian enclave, during which thousands of rockets were fired at Israeli cities and IDF airstrikes on Gaza. At least 230 Palestinians died in the fighting, including 65 children. Meanwhile in Israel 12 people were killed, including two children. Biden regretted that the upheaval resulted in the tragic deaths of so many civilians, including children. He sends his heartfelt condolences to all the families, Israelis and Palestinians, who have lost loved ones.